Okay. So what we're going to talk about is a congruence theorem, Sam. And the congruence theorem is when my pen goes out, is going to be called SSS congruence. Okay? In the top bed up there on the left-hand side. So SSS congruence, what does SSS congruence mean or represent? Right there on the top bed, right there. So it's up there. Social security, <laughs> come on, keep going with it. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Social security <laughs> systems. Side, side, side. Now what does side, side, side mean? What we're talking about congruence no, we've already, we've already been to the social side. It's just, it represents side, side, side. Okay? So the way that we're going to use this, all right, if you can remember, Christian, do you remember what congruence means? If I say two things are congruent, what does that mean? Do you remember? Why did, when do we use congruence? Do you remember? Does anybody remember? Blake, do you remember? Congruence? Huh? Equal. All right? Congruence is we're going to be talking about things that are going to be equal in measure and length. When we talked about shape for congruent, if their angles and their uh, measurements of their sides were equal in measure. So if I have a triangle, now this is a scaling triangle, correct? Okay. But if I have a triangle that looks like this, now this one could be rotated, whatever else. But the one thing I want you guys to understand is, if this is a one tick mark, that means that has the exact same length as that triangle with that tick mark. This side that has two tick marks, that has the exact same length as that length on that triangle. And this side has three tick marks. That means it has the exact same length as this triangle. So what it's saying is if you have two triangles all right, with the exact same lengths like these, then those triangles are congruent. And what that means is not only are their sides equal to each other, but also the angle measures are going to be equal to each other. All right, congruence. You're going to have all the same angles and measurements inside of there. OK? So that is your side, side, side. When you have three equal side measures for both triangles, they are going to be congruent, equal in the measure and equal in um, lengths and value. Okay? You got that? <laughs>